Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj. No nonsense strength training. This is a very special video. This video is more of a celebration because I have done it. I have got to my 200 kg squat. This is not the end of my road to 200 kg squat, but it is just the beginning. In this session, I was able to achieve the one rep of 200 kg as you know, you might have uh, been following me for a while. I was doing a light and a medium type of squats to get my form correct, to build up more strength and accumulate a lot more volume. And uh, almost following the constant loading uh, kind of a method. It has been quite a journey. Uh, this started four months ago, uh, five months ago, I think. And I remember that because of my desire to learn about Olympic weightlifting, uh, I was drilling myself a lot with snatch and clean and jerk and I was not doing much squatting. And that as well as uh, pain in my SI joint was causing me to squat and deadlift a lot lesser. As a result of that, on top of that, sorry, uh, I had been working a lot of shift work so it did have a negative effect on my squat and I cannot have that so that's the story I used to be able to squat 200 kg quite often but it dropped down drastically so in the month of May is when I started back on my journey and I believe my first video was 140 kg which is quite light and I had a task of getting up to adding 60 kgs to that and uh, I must say it was not a smooth sailing it was topsy-turvy and I suppose it won't be a journey if you don't have setbacks and it, it won't be a journey if you do not have obstacles and uh, there is a wonderful quote by the great Marcus Aurelius I might be butchering it but it goes something like this obstacle is the path and I definitely have learned and experienced that during this journey of trying to get to 200 kg squat. You see those blue plates? You, If you've been watching my videos, you will not see them often. Those plates are thinner than the black plates that I normally use. And by this time, when I slammed that blue plate, two blue plates on each side, I had decided I was going to give it a go to 200 kg because otherwise the normal black plates that you see they are too fat and they won't fit so this has been on my mind that i will do at least two months of heavy uh, light and medium squats and then have a go at 180 the plan was what 180 which i will be doing in this video and then i went on and did 200 kg anyway it wasn't um, all of a sudden or a whim but i think my decision of doing 200 kg was uh, pretty much a last minute thing it's because i was feeling that strong even after doing 180 kg set of two or oh, sorry three so yes there is a lot for me to look and reflect upon i had setbacks of having si joint pain and my shoulder blade would play up i started taking some peptides for uh, for purposes of uh, you know rehab and uh, also to build back the tissue and it really helped so i will leave uh, the links uh, throughout this video if you want you can click on them and see what my journey has been how it all started what were the major milestones or setbacks and obstacles because you can click back and i i can only uh, sort of imagine that it'll be able to help you in inspiring you in your own journey whatever that might be it does not have to be squats it does not have to be lifting anything almost anything that you are setting out to achieve will need a plan it will have a setback it'll have obstacles it'll be ups and downs and if you click through those videos and watch this video it might just it might just give you some boost some energy so my warm-ups were going really well. Once again, I was pretty much all by myself in this gym, which is the best. I am quite a lone wolf. And by saying that, I think uh, there is a little bit of paradox here. 
And by that I mean that I'm a lone wolf and here I am uh, posting my videos on YouTube and broadcasting to the whole world really. But when I'm in my zone, I really like the, the presence of myself, my thoughts and my vision of what I'm going to do, what reps I'm going to do. That way, I could not have asked for anything better. This gym is very good. It's called All for Fitness Gym in Brisbane. And uh, I come here in the night, mostly when I finish my shift at 8.30. So it is quite late, uh, definitely quite late for anyone to do their workout. And I have been capitalizing on that. I finish work and I come here pumped. And uh, yes, 180 was on the cards. That was not a problem. I have been squatting 140, 130, 150, sets of 6, sets of 7 leading up to this and pretty much 2 months of that and then I decided I'm good to go. I was painless, I have been painless for a while thanks to BPC 157 and TB 500. So a lot happened in, 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 in during this time. I must say that my next focus uh, would be to start getting more reps under the bar uh, to start getting more reps of 200 kg, a double, triple, four, and a five. A set of five will be my benchmark. And then slowly, in a few months' time, I will try to start working on my deadlifts as well. It is extremely important that I have a kind of balance and some sort of uh, positive relationship with my lifts. I just cannot go on, be obsessed about squats and not improve my deadlifts and other lifts like overhead press and bench press so overhead press i am on a journey to do 100 kg press for a single at least so this was my my pretty much my penultimate set i think um, from memory i can't really recall every detail i was laughing and smiling as you might be able to see in my mirror and at one point uh, in this set, I just look at the mirror and just laugh. And that's just this crazy thing to do. I don't <laughs> uh, suggest that for you to do. So second rep, I think. <sighs> Here it is. Come on. I, I knew I was good. I knew 200 kg was on the cards, baby. So yes, uh, there is uh, perhaps many... Uh, other ways people will laugh look at me just enjoying and have fun but for me it's when I'm moving well when I'm squatting in a good form and I'm energetic so yes green plates just have a look at the bar so full I must give it to the bumper plates they make the look um, the bar look so massive 200 kg for me is a massive weight and I just wanted to do this clip extra long for this beautiful piece of equipment, this back squat barbell loaded with plates, beckoning, just aesthetically simple, but internally challenging. It sits there, stands there in its glory and just challenges you. Are you going to do this or not? So I loaded the bar up. I was uh, taking extra long break. There are not many things I do to psych myself up or pump myself up. There's, I don't do any of that. I was just, you know, typing a few things on my uh, YouTube live. And uh, I was just getting ready. I always run through the form in my mind, mostly how I'm going to stand up, how tight my brace would be. And... Uh, I don't rush things, that's just my style and uh, no yelling or anything. I just uh, was ready. I was just ready for this moment to come and it had to come. I was meeting the moment and here it is. 200 kg squat. I'm happy with the depth. I looked at it in many, many ways and I think I'm pretty good with the depth just just below parallel. 
Here it is one more time in slow motion. I just had to play it, run it, just to make sure that I moved well and I hit the depth. And you tell me. Now. Turn KG, done. So yeah, guys, there you go. Thank you very much for being on this journey with me. Uh, I will be bringing more videos. This is just a start. Uh, but I'm not done yet. I'm going to add more reps and come back with more videos and we'll keep you posted. Please like, subscribe and comment and I will see you next time.